contactless delivery uh, made a real impact during the pandemic as trucks were converging upon distribution centers. They're met with a number of business processes that they have to, to go through. They have to present the, who they are, their driver's license. They need to wait for all of those steps to happen and then they need to wait to back up their truck and have it unloaded. So a lot of this is about the driver experience and also how they get in and out of facilities more effectively. There is also significant benefit in sustainability and reducing dwell time. So the pandemic really catapulted some of the learnings and opportunities that the supply chain fulfillment part of our processes had an opportunity to take advantage of. Companies, shippers, carriers realized that a digital experience was much faster and much more visible. So today, drivers are checking in 24 hours ahead of time. Bring it in, tell me where I put it, and then let me go back out as easily and quickly and with as minimal interaction as possible. The amount of time that it freed up for that transfer or that delivery was pretty significant. And in a time when labor uh, continues to be a challenge, that was extremely important. I do believe that it's gonna continue to see adoption and its success. When people think GS1 standards, they think global trade item numbers, they think global location numbers, but the opportunity to exchange all that information in an electronic data exchange format is in fact also a GS1 standard. The advanced ship notice and conveying that electronically, product and location information blended with these two areas of standards really come together for a contactless process and can be relied on with credibility and is now scaling across the country. Logistics supply chain is, is a team sport, and companies using the GS1 standards will be able to deepen their relationships with their teammates, with their vendors, receivers, carriers, and it will help further them to build a more collaborative supply chain.